I, Philip, take you, Emma, to be my wife. I make a covenant before the Lord and our family and friends today to be your husband. For better or for worse, rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, I will love you, hold you, provide for you, and lead you until my last breath. Whatever this world may bring in obstacles, hardships, and trials, I promise to be there with you through it all. I will rejoice when you rejoice and weep when you weep. I will say sorry often and forgive quickly. I will lead you with a kind heart, putting your needs above my own. I promise to pray for you and for us unceasingly as we establish and lead a home together. I promise to serve you, sacrifice for you, and provide for you selflessly. I promise to encourage you and be grateful for you always, to guard your heart's desires and goals, and to be your best friend. I make these vows to you not in my own power, but through Christ in me. I promise to remain in Christ and lead us closer to him. I will love you as he first loved us. Proverbs 31 verse 10 says, An excellent wife who cannot find. She is far more precious than jewels. You are so much more precious and more beautiful than any jewels or treasure could ever be to me. Emma Elizabeth Morris, you are excellent, and I'm so grateful that I found you. You are always and always you are and always will be the one I love so deeply in my soul and cannot imagine a day without. I'm yours. Emma, would you please share the vows that you have prepared if they are the desire of your heart? I, Emma, take you, Philip, to be my husband. I make a covenant before the Lord and our family and friends today to be your wife for, rich, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health. I will love you, hold you, and cherish you until my last breath. Whatever this world may bring, including this pandemic, <laughs> I will be with you. I will rejoice when you rejoice and weep when you weep. I will say I'm sorry often and forgive quickly. I will trust you, I will follow you, and I will respect you. I promise to pray for you unceasingly, to serve you selflessly, to encourage you always, and to be your best friend. I make these vows not in my own power, but only through Christ in me. I promise to abide in Christ. I will love you as he has first loved us. Philip Levi Beaver, you are and you always will be the one my soul loves. I'm yours. I know I'm speaking for our families and all the friends here today when I say that we love and believe in both of you. I wish that I had the ability to bottle up all the love and the excitement and the joy that we feel for you today. I especially mean this when I say that it is now my privilege, not only as an earthly father, but by the authority vested in me as a minister of the good news concerning Jesus Christ, to pronounce you husband and wife. No longer two, but one. One in interest, one in destiny, one in love, and one in life. You have given sacred vows to each other before a holy and a righteous God. These vows are therefore never to be broken. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. You may kiss 